Hey, good morning everyone. Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel. Today, special episode, we talk about the word that we cannot talk about otherwise. Huh? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about, what happened from China to Europe to Italy. I'm Italian, so now Italy's experienced the more sort of, like it seems, the expansion of this uh, epidemic. But from China, we see already that there are less cases reported, which is a great news in my opinion. I'm trying to follow the number. I'm trying to follow any specialist and doctor that I can follow. Also because that's what you got to do. You got to listen to the people that they're really studying this thing, that they really understand what's going on. Otherwise, we just panic for nothing. The media are just having a feast on this. They're just on the trenches as if it was like uh, uh, some kind of like... Uh, uh, Cold War again, or like Desert Strike, or Iran, or Iraq, or, I mean Iraq all over the place, you know, in the 90s and 80s. So this is absolutely nuts. This is absolutely nuts, and it also gives a distorted vision of, of what it's happening. From the numbers, from the numbers, we know that this thing, it's like 80% plus of the people are just having mild symptoms. You know, like, uh, and yesterday I was following this a woman scientist that I think now she's in the US and she was part of the Italian government for health I think I forgot her name but she was saying to the journalist we have to use the right word to describe this thing it's very important we describe this thing with the right words and I so agreed with her because she said like this this thing this var you know is just like other that gives uh, a sort of flu-like uh, symptoms in the body you know like so they know what it is they know how it behaves this is not the first time that something that gives those uh, similar symptoms like flu happens to has but like people are a little bit taking this as if it was like a condemnation to death like okay you know you get this thing you're gone and in fact the numbers show uh, in the other way around we forget that this thing goes fast quicker because instead of one person to person infection for every person infected another one gets infected this seems to be able to infect between two and three other people for each person infected so that's why it's spreading quicker but people are recovering people are recovering and i'm not saying this to downplay everything i'm just saying this because we are panicking to a level that it's you know like can escalate into just make things worse you know, like you got to be careful if you're an older person, you got to be careful if you have a condition, but you also have to be careful for the normal flu season if you have those kind of issues, because also normal flu can just be very heavy on people. Some people, you know, like get the flu and they're sick for two weeks. You know what I mean? So, and some other people, they're like, you know, they have symptoms for two days, three days, and then within one week they recover. So uh, I'm not trying to downplay this, but please, we got to follow the scientists. We got to follow the people working on this. They, they seem like uh, also from all the news that I'm following or scientists and doctors, they seem like that they're really working incredibly fast on a vaccine, which it might come sooner than usual. And I really pray for that the human endeavor and focus when combined together can yield results that otherwise you know wouldn't, wouldn't happen and in this way in a way i'm this like grateful uh, for this thing to show that we should be busy with this we should be busy more with this to be prepared with be prepared for epidemics be prepared by uniting our forces of the minds people working the science to create more like preparation for whatever it's thrown at us we have been here i said this before we have been here for a long time and we're going to be here if we manage to you know find a, a balance but in this case let's look at the number let's look at the number for a moment without just going crazy without just going crazy here those are the numbers right now those are the numbers those are the numbers so far and look at the green number look at the green numbers 53,695 people recovered discharged 94 percent 94 percent here we have still active cases 32,000 cases 32,111 cases in mild conditions and 6,420 in serious or critical I wish this 
people here to recover quickly. Hopefully, for me, all of us, I'm not trying to diminish anything of this, but it's imperative that we start to look at this a little bit with also more pragmatism, with a little bit of clear insight. You know, I don't want to get the virus. I'm going to wash my hand. I'm going to be careful. Uh, but, you know, we rely on the economy of the city to move on. We rely on people going around. If everybody's scared, we're going to be damaged to a level that it's absurd. And I can understand, OK, let's take it easy for three, four, five days. Fine. Let's take it easy for a week. Let's close the school for a week. That's good. That's good because like the, the, the draconian measure that China took, obviously they are helping because there are less cases reported, which is uh, which is incredible news. I mean, in China, where the majority of those things it's happening now, just another 32 cases were reported and this is good news i know that when we're talking about that people it's 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 uh, it's not uh, you know like it's crazy to talk in numbers i know but you got to be more pragmatic to a level where understanding we're a country that is like a billion plus like a billion and a half people now there are only 160 new cases this is encouraging this is encouraging that seems like things are slowing down probably in other places there will be a moment like it's happening in italy of the peak of this whole thing but it also will subsize so let's just use common sense look at the numbers look at the numbers look at the numbers and just follow science the scientists uh, if things get a little bit more out of hand i'm going to be the first year to go out and go around show you a little bit the cd out we don't get into that situation because we all rely you know business owner business you know like people buying and, and people selling we all rely on a normal economy to survive because nobody's going to look after us you know like so uh, we have to try to put this into a perspective that allows us to be safe to be careful but also to assess the real danger of something you know that 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 it's it doesn't seem like to be uh, too much you know different than than uh, than uh, you know the normal flu season or something which also kills unfortunately a lot of people again i'm not giving any suggestion i'm not a doctor i'm just sharing number i'm just sharing like you know from my my experience how i'm experiencing this thing and, and what i'm doing what i'm doing looking at the numbers and looking at all the things that i can get to have a clearer grasp of not get sucked in into this media whirlpool of feeling like doomed you know like i i, I personally i also got to the point of like oh, you know what you know you you gotta i'm gonna fine let's do this you know what i mean let's go through this and uh, and again obviously i don't want to get sick but i get so tired after a while where you know like the, the the this whole feeling of doom impending thing weighs on you because of the media and everything that it's suffocating and i'm like we're gonna get through this we're gonna get through this let's just use common sense for a moment we're gonna get through this so anyway let me know what you think let me know your experience in the place where you are i'm gonna keep doing those updates both for i don't know a, a little bit like a social service for for my audience and also my own way to metabolize thing and metabolize this and, and get a grasp uh, of this so anyway always spread love i'll see you later on another video as usual ciao take care and wash your hands please